Hey there, nice to see you again. Everything around us has a life cycle. Animals, plants, insects and even data. Just like how a seed grows to become a plant and then a tree, data has a life cycle of its own. Within an organization, the same body of data passes through many hands, and informs decisions across multiple departments, which makes data a living thing, flows throughout informal systems. It is the duty of data managers and data workers to manage the health of this data across the data life cycle. But what is the life cycle of data? The data life cycle, or the information life cycle, refers to the entire time the data exists in a system. In nature, all the living things experience a series of phases. Babyhood, a period of growth and development, productive adulthood, and old age. Similarly, the data life cycle includes all the stages the data passes through. From when it has first captured, to the rest of the process. In a moment we will discuss each of the stages in that life cycle, to help you understand the individual phases data goes through. The life cycle of data is plan, capture, manage, analyze, archive and destroy. Let's begin with the first phase, planning. Actually, this happens before starting an analysis project. During planning, a business decides what kind of data it needs, how it will be managed throughout its life cycle, who will be responsible for it, and the optimal outcomes. For example, a real estate agency wanted to get insights on how did the property prices got affected by the pandemic. In the planning phase, they decide to capture data on the number of houses, the price, and the areas in which these houses were sold. The agency also decided which teams should be responsible for collecting, storing, and sharing that data. After that, the next phase is to capture the data, this is where data is collected from a variety of different sources. And brought into the organization, the ways to collect it are truly endless. One common method is getting data from outside resources. Using a publicly available dataset, or easily get it from an inside resource such as the agency's own documents, and files, which are usually stored inside a database. We can refer to this phase as the data babyhood. Now that the data is captured, the next phase is to manage the data. This is the phase where we take good care of the data. How and where it's stored, the tools used to keep it safe and secure, and the actions taken to make sure that it's maintained properly. Let's call this period of growth and development. Next it's time to analyze the data. It is an important phase, this is where the actual work begins. In this phase, the data is used to solve problems, make great decisions, and support business goals. In our example, the data should tell us how exactly did the pandemic affects the price of properties, we can call this phase the productive adulthood of data. Now that the agency got their insights it is time to archive the data, archiving means storing data in a place where it's still available but may not be used again. This is where the data reach the old age. Finally, we have reached the last step of the data life cycle, the destroy phase. The agency uses a secure data erasure software to destroy the data and shred any paper files. This is important for protecting the agency's private information, as well as private data about its customers. Now you've become familiar with the different phases data goes through during its life cycle. Well done. See you soon.